Okay, I'm gonna do a quick dump here and kind of show you guys every Knipix tool in here that I carry with me. Um, just because they're in here doesn't mean I use them every single day. A lot of these I do, but not all of them. So I'm just gonna dump them all out of here first. And then we're gonna go from there. Oh, these aren't, those aren't Knipix. These are, let me see here. Hi, how you doing? Um, these are, this is, uh, anything else? Yeah, this is, let's see, anything else in here? Oh, oh yeah, no, there is. This front pocket here. These. Okay, there we go. Uh, that's not, there's nothing else in here, I don't think. Okay. Push that off to the side. Grab all this stuff. Um, this is everything in my bag. And then also we'll throw all of these in as well. And then I'll bring you down a little bit more here and uh oh, background defocus. What does that mean? What did that say? Should I press a button? I don't know what I'm doing. You can cancel the switch background defocus state. Okay, sure. Um, this is everything. Um, we're gonna go least use stuff. I don't use these often, but when you need a pair of vice grips, obviously you need a pair of vice grips. Um, don't use these too often, but when I have, they come in handy. They're coated in some kind of nastiness right now. They have a big hair on them too. I gotta clean this bag out. Um, you can get into a lot of, a lot of cool stuff with these, or like, not cool stuff, but you can get down into places. You can use them almost as like a electric flush cutter, like these little wires here. You can get down in here, you know what I mean? And peel them, oh, the camera even see that? I don't even know. You can get down in here, let's just say, right here, see what I mean? Camera see it? That one's gone. Um. But these are awesome. These are the 6102-200. They're apparently patented. Cut up to a three millimeter piano wire. Um, these are the end cutting offset nipper, bolt cutting, whatever nipper. I don't know, they have a massive name. Awesome things though. Um, these I keep in the house. Um, I use them as a shear once in a while. If I'm doing any electric work around the house or anything. These are all small little guys. Uh, these are the ones that I said I was going to be giving away, these three, which I still am. Um, and these are the 03140s, these are the 2502160s, and the 9001125s. These are the Precision Electronics um, needle nose or plier. These are phenomenal. Um, I love them. Don't, use, don't have them in the bag, though. Use them for a lot of other stuff. Used to have them in my bag, but I feel like I didn't use them enough and I used them more around the house. These are also phenomenal. These are the 311160s. These are the super long nose needle nose. These are amazing. If you don't have a pair of these, I highly suggest it. Obviously, you know what these are. Plier wrench. These are 10 inch. These are the 250s and these are the 150s. I have another pair of the 150s too in this little pouch, which I keep in a separate bag. But these are awesome too. Um, okay, twin grips. These are amazing. Um, screw extraction tips. You can spin with them. You can do a bunch of things with these guys. They're phenomenal. Wire strippers. These are the thirteen seventy two eights. These are also awesome. Um, does take some time getting used to this duck bill when you're used to. Do I have them anywhere here? When you used to climb ones, the old climb blue ones with the tiny tips on them. It took me time anyways. These are one of the newest things I bought from them. I was using a pair of channel log ones for a while. Finally bought these. These are the 7422-200s. Super nice. Um, comfort grip handle. Just good cutter. It's a good side cutter. Um, these are the 8701-125s. 5-inch Cobra. Um, 
I don't use them. They're in my bag. I have used them, I think, once in however long they've been in my bag. I have used them more than however. These guys, these guys sit in the house. They don't do anything. These are like a, these aren't useful. I mean, these, these are a, this is a showpiece. This is what this is. I think the small plier wrenches do. Um, I think the six inch probably, if they, I don't I think they make a six inch, is probably the start of the useful sizes. This, maybe, if you do a lot of really tiny, tiny, tiny work, and delicate stuff maybe, this, I don't think it is useful. I'll include it in the video though. Um, I have two pair of these. One's at a job site or somewhere. I lost one somewhere. This is a quick set version, the 8721250. Knippets Cobra. So again, 10 inch. These are amazing. If you don't buy anything, Knippets, or if you want to buy one tool from these guys to get you started, or just one tool, these or, or these. You're not going to be unhappy with either. Mind you, if you do transition from channel locks to these, I know a lot of people who kind of, it takes them some time to like those, but when they like them, they start absolutely loving them. These are the 28250, or 2871280. Well, I could not have read that worse. Um, these are the extra long needle nose. These are awesome. Um, you can spin, you can spin some either nuts or pipe down here too. You can spin some half inch down here. Um, I think that's what I got up to anyways. Um, you have different other little like gripping points and they are just a nice needle nose. Um, they're not cross hatched. They're just, um, kind of grooved, but they do work well. Um, I've had to reach down into a lot of stuff. You can reach down into sink drains with these. I've reached down into vacuum hose with these. Um, yeah, yeah, you can reach down a lot of stuff with these too and grab stuff, which is awesome. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? I think that's all the Knivik stuff I have. Um, I believe. Again, just another pair of those Cobras. And I believe that is everything Knivix that I own. Yes, in my bag anyway. Um, if I missed anything. So that's it. Oh, there you go, that's it. Um, overall, Knivix stuff is awesome. Some of it, I think you can get away with cheaping out on if you want to. Um, some of it, I don't think it's worth cheaping out on. If I could just have two of these tools. All right, let's say three. Three of these guys. I'd go these three right here. The Cobra, Fire Wrench, and Twin Grip for what I do anyways. Obviously, if you do other something different, you're going to have different, you know, Opinions. Um, oh no, I'm missing a pair of needle nose here too. I have another pair of needle nose somewhere. I don't know where they are, though. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Okay, I lied. I found them. Um, these are the 3811-200s. These are the needle nose I use um, most often. So I did a video on these vampire ones. Um, those, I lost those too. I don't know where the hell they are. Gotta find them. But those were a super nice aggressive needle nose. Um, but these guys right here are kind of cross hatched, which is nice. They give you a little bit extra grip rather than something like just that kind of straight. I don't know how well you're gonna see this, just that kind of straight. Can you see that? Not really. I don't know what to. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. That versus, say, this. Um, but yeah, I use these all the time. These are a good needle nose. Um, only hatched from like here up. Ooh, only cross hatched from about here up. This bottom half is smooth. So yeah, that's all. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think, what you guys, 
what you guys use all the time. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. God bless you. Have a good one.